I'd like to call to order the 26th regular meeting of the 2021 Common Council and the last meeting of this term. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Celebrate endings for they precede new beginnings. Thank you for those words of advice. Would the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Bourne. Here. Alderperson Donahue. Here. Alderperson Feldy. Here. Alderperson Phillips. Here. Alderperson Decker. Here. Alderperson Sorensen. Here. Alderperson Savaglio. Present. Alderperson Felicki Paneski. Here. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. There are nine present. Very good. Thank you very much. And Alderperson Ackley is excused. Uh, next item is to uh, say the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Next, we'll go on to the approval of the minutes from our 25th regular council meeting, which was held on April 7th. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve the minutes from our April 7th meeting. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, uh, Alderperson, no. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? The motion passes. Uh, next item is uh, public forum. Do we have anyone tonight? There's no one this evening. Thank you very much. Uh, next, we have some resignations. Alderperson Sorensen. Uh, thank you, Mary. I move to accept the resignations. Second. Okay, we have three of them. Robert Ecker from the Board of Zoning Appeals. Ryan Sorensen from the Sheboygan Common Council is an older person, and Ryan Zinkel from the Sheboygan Transit Commission. Um, is it okay if we include all three with this, the motioner and the seconder? Yes, you can, and we should just clarify that uh, the two of them, Ecker and Zinkel, are uh, effective immediately, and all the person Sorensen's is effective at 11.59. Thank you very much, Attorney Adams. Those are before us then, all all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Motion passes. Motion passes. Somebody has to uh, turn off their microphone. Thank you very much. Um, next, we'll go on with mayor's announcements. To begin with, I'd like to ask Peter Heimwald to step forward and Joe Curland for a special presentation. Peter Heimwald, affectionately known as Painter Pete in the Parks Department. Uh, Painter Pete has um, skillfully painted park benches, tables, uh, numerous other items, including Fountain Park, items in Fountain Park, for 12 years. He's also recruited high school students that needed volunteer hours, brought them, uh, helped, he helped, they helped him do some of the painting to get their hours. Um, he knows the park staff very well and they know him. Um, we just want to honor him tonight for, for dedicating his time, volunteering his time to, to work in the park department for so many years. Painter Pete let us know that he's going to be hanging up his brush uh, as of last end of last year, but he will always have a bench along the lakefront where he worked uh, most, of, most of the time. We are going to dedicate a bench with the plaque on it it says, in recognition of painter Pete Heimbold for service to his community. Thank you. 
I won't take more than 10 minutes. Uh, first of all, thanks for the city for allowing me the opportunity to paint the benches. And thank you to my wife, Nancy, for, for helping me get out of bed. <laughs> this started a long time ago. Just, can I go back a little bit? Uh, a little 12 years ago, our family, uh, the Heimbold family, from the East Coast and the West Coast came to Sheboygan for a family reunion. And they loved it here, but I can't get any of them to move here. But they, they really liked it. And I was down at the bench. I live near the lake, so I'm down there, up and down. And I noticed that the benches looked basically like hell. And so I went to Paul, I believe his name, Meyer? Yes. Paul Meyer, and asked him if I could paint the benches. And he said he would take it up with the powers to be. And I said I would do it. There were just two stipulations that the city supply me with the paint and that no one would lose their job over this. So I started out and immediately a couple of friends of mine, John Visser and Roger Fiegel, God bless his soul, they made a neat little wagon for me to put the paint and the brushes and pull it up along the lake, uh, along the lakefront. So I want to thank them. I want to thank uh, Ryan Orr and Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson, who are now currently working down at the lake and doing a very, very nice job down there, keeping the restrooms clean. And, and they've been very helpful for me getting paint, getting wet paint, wet paint signs, et cetera. Uh, the three boys that helped me were uh, Tim and Dave Gottwald, and the other one is James, oh, and James Rohde. And then there's another boy named Luke, and I can't remember his name. All I can remember him is that his uncle is Boche, that's his name, uh, Bob Boche, who owns Glanders Drugs. So those boys helped. Well, I want to thank Brian Milbrook, because he helped a lot. He is a great guy. You know, supposedly I have a pair of glasses. Oh, James Rohde, did I mention James? Okay. James, Luke. How it started, as I just explained, is that benches looked terrible, so I went to uh, Paul, and we worked out a deal that I could do it, just what we said. But the uh, funny part of it was, at that time, the city was in negotiations with the union, so I can't remember if it was that year or the next year when I started again, but almost immediately I was fired. So I got, <laughs> I got a lot of flack from my friends at the Yacht Club and the Morning Coffee Club. So how can you get fired from a volunteer job? Uh, it happened. Anyway, uh, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate this. And I don't know where you're going to put it. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, on the lakefront. Do you have a little lakefront? Lake yeah. I'll work with you on the location. Okay, super. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much, Peter. It's a great example of a citizen who sees something that needs to be done and takes care of it himself. We really appreciate Pete's efforts. Next, I have a proclamation to read. Whereas David Cookhook has served as the director of the Maywood Environmental Park for 30 years and will be retiring on April 30th of 2021, and whereas David has overseen the major park developments and the uh, management of the park's 135 acres, including the construction of two ponds, seating of a prairie, additions of many park features, construction of the Ecology Center addition, engaging the community in planting and thousands of trees throughout his tenure, and whereas Dave hiked the 1,000 miles of the Ice Age Trail through the Cyber Hike in support of Maywood and kayaked 650 miles through the water with the Wisconsin to the world drop of life journey 
to educate students and communities about the importance of water. And whereas throughout his career at Maywood, Dave has educated thousands of children and adults about nature and inspired new generations to be better stewards of our land and our natural world. He has forged important partnerships, including the partnership between Camp Waikota and the Sheboygan Area School District and Maywood to create the Waikota Nature School at Maywood. These partnerships have benefited the residents and visitors to Sheboygan. I now, therefore, Mike Vandersteen, as mayor of the city of Sheboygan, do proclaim April 30th of 2021 as David Cook Day in the city of Sheboygan and call upon our community members to celebrate and recognize his accomplishments and contributions. Dave, please come forward and accept this proclamation. Somebody wants to take a picture. Sorry, I didn't smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, don't forget that April 30th is Arbor Day, so get out there and plant some trees. But um, it's been really a privilege to have served the community of Sheboygan and, and worked at Maywood with uh, hundreds and hundreds of volunteers who have made it a special place. Hopefully, we've left it in a state that you'll be proud of for years to come. Thank you very much. Now we have a few retiring older persons that I'd like to recognize. The first is Mary Lynn Donahue. Mary Lynn, if you'd like to step forward. Mary Lynn has uh, started out serving on the Finance and Salary and Grievances Committee, uh, then went on to the Public Protection and Safety and Salary and Grievances as chairperson, the Board of Housing Appeals and Fair Practices, the City County Shared Services Committee, Collective Bargaining Committee, Group Health and Insurance and Wellness Committee, and the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee. Uh, then she uh, became the chairman of the Finance Committee and the Salary and Grievances chairperson. Uh, she also served on the Board of Housing Appeals and Fair Practices and the Senior Activity Commission and the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee. She continued on again on finance and salary and grievances as chair and served on the Sheboygan uh, Collective Bargaining Committee, the Senior Activity Commission, and the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee. In 16 to 17, she served as council president, uh, finance and salary and grievances chairperson, and the City uh, Shared Services Committee, Collective Bargaining, the Committee Structure Committee, uh, the Group Health and Insurance Wellness Committee, and Senior Activity Center Commission, and again, the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee. In 2017 to 18, she again served as uh, Finance and Personnel Chair and Law and Licensing Vice Chair, and also served on the Capital Improvements Commission and the Sheboygan Transit Commission. In 18 and 19, she again uh, was on the Finance and Personnel Committee and was chairperson of licensing hearings and public safety and added the library board to her list of committees as well as the Transit Commission again. In 19 to 20, uh, she served as council vice president and also on the Finance and Personnel and Licensing and Public Safety Committee. And this last year, she served again as council vice president and chairperson of Finance and Personnel and Licensing served on licensing hearings and public safety and also the Capital Improvements Commission and again the Library Board. Mary Lynn, we'd like to recognize you and uh, give you a certificate of appreciation for nine years of dedicated service as an older person uh, and many committee appointments. I want to thank you very much for your service. You've done a great job. And would you like to say anything? Of course I would. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been around long enough, of course I would like to say something, but um, Mike and I were talking this afternoon in the council chambers here and he reminded me of how I got here, which was very bizarre, tiny little creation story. Um, the Saturday before the February primary in 2012, I read this article in the newspaper about the three fairly sketchy people who are running for alder in, in my district. And I thought, 
gee, that's not right. And um, so in consultation with my dear spouse, Tim, and my political sidekick, Maeve Quinn, I decided to, to start a write-in campaign. That was my first experience with Facebook. Friends created one. And the following Tuesday, I came in 11 votes behind the front runner as a write-in. Uh, and the front runner was a convicted felon, so he couldn't be on the council. And so here I am. And it was really, it was really, it was pretty funny. And, uh, uh, and since then, thankfully, I've not been challenged. Um, you know, being an alder uh, in the last nine years has meant like big issues, right? The armory, the golf course, the field of dreams, or as we affectionately called it, the field of screams. Uh, you know, we had a lot of really big issues that came before us, and they caused a, a lot of um, citizen input and concerns and, and discussion. But then, what I, the point I want to make is that, of course, there are those big issues and new alders coming in and, and the folks who are staying uh, on the council. There will most certainly be other big issues because that's just what city governments do. But it's the smaller stuff that really makes the difference. It is budgeting. It's making sure that our employees are treated well. Who gets the class B, the last class B liquor license? How are we going to implement uh, uh, pothole repair? Just on and on and on, all those small things. And those, you know, those I think are just as important. Um, The other important piece of it as alders is to be um, pretty much completely responsive to our constituents. And constituents can be all over the city. It's not just the people who live in our districts. And to me, that has meant answering every email, every phone call, trying to the best of my uh, ability to be uh, polite uh, and, and calm, which with my Irish temper can sometimes be a challenge. Um, but as alders go on, <clears throat> I want to suggest to you that the really important things you do really circulate around being responsive to your constituents. Now, problem solving 101, how do you do that? Well, I learned when I was on the school board, you can have the best superintendent of schools, but if your principals in each and every school are not strong and creative and energetic, your school district isn't going to do very well. Let me just take that to department heads. Department heads. If you don't have strong department heads and, 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 and Dave Cook Cook and, and all the other people who are in charge of managing these departments, you know, it's really just not going to be very successful. So I have viewed these department heads almost all the time as friends and allies and really a critical piece of the problem solving puzzle because that's what we do. We solve problems. And so it's really, it's really important in that respect. Just to close, <clears throat> I would be remiss if I did not, <laughs> I was going to say single out, if I didn't <laughs> call uh, my uh, attention to my dear spouse, Tim Van Akron, who's sitting there in that good looking blue sweater. Um, Tim, for better or for worse, has always had my back. And it's with his support and his love that, you know, I've been able to do what I've been able to do. And now, <laughs> now you're going to see a lot more of me, honey. And, you know, it's just <laughs> now we'll see how much he has my back. But um, I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for everything over the years. You're just, you are the best. And so are you. So here's the deal. Be strong. Be brave. Be thoughtful, be engaged, and I say that to everybody. And this is going to continue to be a terrific city. So thank you all. It's with, it's with mixed feelings that I say goodbye today, but I really do appreciate uh, the opportunity to have served. Thank you. Next, I'd like to ask Rose Phillips to come forward. 
I want to recognize Rose for three years of dedicated service from April 17th of 2018 through uh, tonight and 2021. During that time, uh, Rose re represented District 7, and she served on the Public Works Committee all those years, and also the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force, the County Emergency Medical Services Council, and the Maywood Board. So I appreciate your time and efforts during that time, and I'd like to present you with a certificate of appreciation. Sure, just briefly. Okay, sure. Oh, I sort of wish I would have gone first because what an impressive list that Mary Lynn had all of those years of service. I just want to thank you, Mary Lynn, for your strong and wise voice on this council. And it's been such a pleasure working with all of you, all of you, really, truly. This is uh, my third, was my second term, and I made the decision not to run for a third term. And, you know, that's a difficult decision to make. I do think it's the right one for me. Um, so I agree with Mary Lynn on that mixed emotions today. Um, sad to leave, but I know that um, I'm proud of the things that we've accomplished and really excited to see how things continue to grow and shift and evolve as things move forward. Thank you. Next, I'd like to call forward Alder Person Ryan Sorensen, our president elect, I mean, our mayor elect. Um, Ryan has served uh, for five years on the city council from 2017 through the current year. And during that time, he served on the public safety committee as vice chair, uh, licensing hearings and public safety, uh, the uh, public works as vice chair. He was committee of the whole chairperson. Licensing hearings and public safety again as chair in 2019 to 2020, also as public works vice chair and also committee of the whole chairperson. And this last year as council president, the committee of the whole chair, and again on licensing hearings and public safety chair and the public works vice chair. In addition, he served on the county emergency medical services council, the transit commission, the capital improvements commission, the friends of Maywood board. Uh, the International Committee, uh, and I got a very good certificate here for you, Ryan, recognizing you for those years of service as a Sheboygan Alder person. Thank you very much, and all the best Thanks, as Mike. mayor in the coming years. Appreciate the it. Thank right. you. If you want to say a few words. Sure. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, Mayor Vandersteen. Um, thank you, council members, um, for, for your cooperation and your support. Um, throughout these years. I do want to give a shout out to uh, Vice President Donahue for her, her years and mentorship um, while I've been on the council. Um, it's, it's truly been a blessing. While I won't be on the council, I'll still be around um, and I'm looking forward to the future. And I wanted to thank Mayor Vandersteen for having um, a, a smooth transition and um, supporting me uh, during this time and um, making sure that we're uh, fighting for the city that we love so much. So thank you all of you, appreciate it. I'm sure that you've all heard the advice that you should find something that you love to do, do it well, and find a job that allows you to do it every day, and you'll never have to work for a day in your life. Well, for me, that was serving as your mayor. It was never a chore for me. I love coming to City Hall every day, and I've been blessed to have the privilege of serving as your mayor at the end of my full-time working career. I modeled a lot of what I did as mayor after what I learned from many different community organizations, serving as an alder, a county supervisor, a county board chair, and the mentors that I've worked with. So there are so many people that have helped me along the way, and I just want to thank all of them for their contributions and assistance. As an elected official, I work to build communication and partnerships with Sheboygan County, Sheboygan Area School District, and many community organizations. And I hope that these connections that I've built will continue to be productive for our city in the future. 
During the campaign, you need to claim credit for, credit for many of the improvements that have taken place during one's term. But I've never really been comfortable with that because there's been so much help from our team of department heads and staff. I'm indebted to all the department heads, managers, and all the persons and staff that I've worked with over the last eight years. We've achieved so much and made so much progress for our city, it's just amazing. The current city team is an outstanding, loyal, and dedicated group. Administrator Wolf is developing great teamwork to continue to move Sheboygan forward with our new mayor, Mayor Sorensen. I've had two wonderful assistants during this time, Mary Rager and Sarah Schwefel. When I arrived at the office my first day, my wife stopped in to visit and asked Mary how many mayors she had worked for. The answer was five. She said, Mike is my fifth mayor. Well, Mary got me off to a great start in my first term, and Sarah has taken on an increased role as the city communications special and mayor's assistant and provided strong support for me in my second term. These two assistants were able to think on their feet, handle any situation, answering tele, uh, calls from residents, fielding complaints, and also connecting callers to the help that they need and provided great service to our residents. And I also want to take time to thank my wife, Julie. Julie and I will celebrate our 40th anniversary this August, and she's been unbelievable, putting up with me for 45 years. She never holds anything back and is unfiltered as my sounding board, and I appreciate her honest feedback. She's been helping with my campaign since 1977 when we were dating, and I ran for JC president. Julie, thanks you for your support all these years. I've had a wonderful 40 years serving on different citizen committees as alderperson, supervisor, and mayor. Uh, we have had many challenges that we've faced, but we have so much success that we've achieved working together. When I moved to Sheboygan in 1973 and opened it to and managed Dubois Fromware, I never could have imagined that I would have the privilege and the support to serve as mayor of this amazing city. We've shared many challenges and numerous accomplishments have been achieved and many goals have been reached to build a better Sheboygan. And the, I, I thank past and current older persons and the residents that served on various committees over the eight years for all of your participation to build this success. My experience as mayor is everything that I could have asked for and more. During this time, I built relationships with many people that I will call friends for the rest of my life. So thank you very much. It's been a great time. Now, getting back to the agenda, we'll move on to the uh, consent agenda. That'll include items 2.2 through 2 through 2.14. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on any of those items? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nine eyes. Motion passes. Moving on to reports of officers, item 3.1 is RO number 176 of 2021 by the City Planning Commission. Tuma's referred resolution number 193 of 2020 by Alderperson Bourne receiving the City of Sheboygan Affordable Housing Market Study prepared by MSA Professional Services Incorporated and encouraging staff to take action to implement the findings, strategies, and recommendations of the study and recommends adopting the resolution. Alderperson Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the RO and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for the motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll?
Nine eyes. Motion passes. Items 3.2 and 3.3 will be referred to the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee of the new Council. Uh, under resolutions, item uh, 4.1 is resolution number 200. Oh, we have to do something special for this? Do you want to move some place? Um, Mayor, I'd like to suggest that uh, I would be able to move the 4.1 resolution uh, for me to read it uh, to the council and committee um, over at the uh, lector. Mike, I'd like to read the uh, resolution to you. Uh, the resolution commem commemorating the distinguished service of Michael Vandersteen uh, to the city of Sheboygan. Whereas Michael Vandersteen served, as, uh, served the residents of the city of Sheboygan for eight years as the mayor from April 16th, 2013 to April 19th, uh, 2021. And whereas Michael Vandersteen served the residents of the city of Sheboygan faithfully, honorably, being a man of outstanding ability and integrity, and whereas during his two-year term, of, um, the city of Sheboygan saw growth and development with, the, with a variety of projects, including South Point Enterprise Campus, bike pedestrian improvements on Taylor Drive, and the Shoreline 400 land annexations, redevelopment of the Memorial uh, Mall property into Meyer, um, de Meyer development, of the Boston store property into the city green and, and the Encore luxury apart apartments, renovation of the Washington school into multifamily housing, renovation of the old tannery uh, into the Badger State lofts, redevelopment of the Vandervart uh, property into the Oscar apartments and many more projects. And whereas, as a steward of protecting our land and water, Mike Vandersteen helped, the, helped with the uh, Sheboygan River cleanup project and is also currently serving as the chairperson of the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Cities Initiative. And whereas Mike Vandersteen, Mayor Vandersteen, uh, served a strong proponent of the Growing Our Neighborhood Associations program from two when he took office uh, in 2013 and now having 12 official neighborhood associations and Whereas in the years 20, 2007 through 2012, the city resurfaced an average of 1.4 miles of streets per year. During the years of 2013 to 2019, the city resurfaced an average of 4.2 miles of the city's resurfaced uh, per year. And whereas to expand the city's communication efforts, the mayor's office launched the Sheboygan Insider Digital Newspa Newsletter in 2017 implemented in the next door social media platform and activity actively promoted the click to report app and the citizen services portal for residents uh, to use for reporting concerns such as pothole and code violations and therefore it be resolved that the common council hereby com commemorates the distinguished service uh, rendered by Michael, Michael Vandersteen to the city of Sheboygan throughout his years of service expresses gratitude to him. So Mike, I'd like to give this to you. So uh, in appreciation, Mayor Vandersteen for the eight years of dedicated service. Thank you very much, Todd. Thank you. I'm to stand over here and take it. One more, one last thing. Um, it would. I also would like to present from our academy the nomination. In regards to Oscar, right? <laughs> For best mayor of Sheboygan during 2013 to 2021. So thank you. Thank you very much, Todd. <laughs> Thank you.
Wow, this is a great surprise, and really thank you for the accolades. Um, you know, this is a lot of fun uh, to do this. It was important work, but I really appreciate everybody in this room uh, putting their oar in the water and helping to make this happen. It's just been a great eight years, and thank you so much for this opportunity to serve Sheboygan. I appreciate it. We'll move on now to what? We still have to vote on that one. Oh. <laughs> Will the clerk, oh, this is a voice vote. Somebody All those in favor of item 4.1, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? It passes unanimously. Moving on to item 4.2, that'll be referred to the licensing hearings and public safety of the new council. Under reports of committees, item 5.1 is RC number 316 of 2021 by the Finance and Personnel Committee. To whom is referred resolution number 199 of 2021 by all the persons Donahue and Bourne approving the fiscal year 2021 uh, one year annual action plan for community development block grant CDBG program submission. Alder person Donahue. Thank you. I uh, move to receive the report of the committee and adopt the substitute resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none. Oh, Ryan, did you have a comment? Oh, no. Okay. Will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Nine eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is RC number 317 of 2021 by the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee to whom was referred direct referral general ordinance number 43 of 2021 by Alder Person Sorensen and Decker uh, regulating the rental and operation uh, of, of electric scooters in the city of Sheboygan. Alder Person Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the report of the committee and adopt the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. That motion is uh, available for discussion. Seeing none, I'd uh, ask the clerk to call the roll. Other person born. Other person born, are you still there? Yes, I am. Sorry, I. Thank you. <coughs> Nine eyes. Motion passes. Items 5.3 through 5.17 will be referred to various uh, committees of the new council. Um, next item with general ordinances and there's nothing on that item so other matters authorized by law I'd turn it over to attorney Charles Adams thank you uh, 7.1 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30th 2021 December 31st 2021 April 14th 2022 June 30th, 2022, and June 30th, 2023. That'll be referred to the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee of the new council. 7.2 is a resolution by all the persons Donahue and Boren authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute a cancellation agreement and mutual release in order to terminate the listing contract with CBRE Inc. regarding the South Point Enterprise Camp. And that'll be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee of the new council. Uh, last item is uh, adjournment. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to adjourn. Seeing a die. Second. 
Thank you for that motion and support. Will the clerk please call the roll for adjournment? All those aye. in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Thank you. We stand adjourned. Appreciate your time both tonight and for the last eight years. <coughs>